So what does this particular research mean? All right, we're looking at an outcome, at least in regard to this animal study. If the outcome is duplicated in human models, what we're basically looking at is by introducing a simple, simple, single species of bacteria, in this case, Valinella atypica, into an individual's microbiome, maybe yours, and voila, increasing performance by 13%. Out of all the different bacteria out there, we're just talking about introducing a simple bacteria into a microbiome, 13% increased performance. That's what the researchers achieved in this animal study. It's interesting on how this bacteria worked and had an indirect approach in regard to increasing exercise resilience, and that's what we should look at right now. Now I'm going to go through two different news releases, one from the Science Daily, the other one from the AAAS, two of my favorite news releases. Each one highlights different strengths from the research itself, so I took a little of both. To proceed as follows, Science Daily first. Performance enhancing bacteria found in the microbiomes of elite athletes introducing this bacteria to sedentary individuals improves exercise capacity. New research has identified a type of bacteria found in the microbiomes of elite athletes that contributes to improved capacity for exercise. These bacteria, members of the genus Valinella, are not found, I'm just quoting. I know people say the gums and biofilms and things like that, but I'm just quoting the researcher's opinion here. Not found in the guts of sedentary individuals or people. All right, important in the type of Valinella as well. So basically, we'll look at the abstract real fast, and there from the abstract, you can highlight Valinella atypica. Important to make that note, because there are other different types of Valinella out there. I think there's 13 species, different species altogether. But to proceed as follows. All right. They pinpointed the one specific group of bacteria called Valinella. They found it was enriched in the gut microbiome of Boston Marathon runners after completing the 26.2 mile race and in an independent group of 87 elite and Olympic athletes after competitions. So after the competitions, they hunted out this bacteria. Valinella bacteria isolated from marathon athletes and given to mice increased the animal's performance in laboratory treadmill tests by 13% to control bacteria. We're not exercising the animals longer or training them. We're just simply inoculating them with the simple bacteria and boom, 13% increase in regard to the treadmill test. All right, but why? What's happening here? How is the Valinella typical working? To proceed as follows, quote, we were able to demonstrate that Valinella driven performance boost was due to the bacteria's ability to break down lactate, a metabolite known to accumulate with prolonged, strenuous exercise and to produce propionate, 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 all right? A short chain fatty acid that in turn enhances the body's ability or body's resilience to exercise stress. So the Valinella, uh, Valinella atypica basically resulted in the elevated production of propionate. So now, the researchers wanted to see if this propionate was actually doing the job. So they took the Valinella typica out of the equation and just introduced this short chain fatty acid into the animals via the route of Venema. And I want to highlight that real fast or emphasize it because at this point in time, propionate, pro propionate, uh, gets destroyed by digestive enzymes in the future, maybe in terracotta capsules or whatever. But for the sake of the study, let's not introduce publisher bias. Let's work on how they did it. All right, basically they did this. The team returned to the lab to figure out what could be causing the increase in exercise capacity. They ran a metagenomic genomic test, and gen, sorry, metagenomic analysis, meaning that they tracked the genetics of all the organisms in the microbiome community to determine what events were triggered by Valinella's metabolism of lactic acid. They noted the enzymes associated with the conversion of lactic acid into the short chain fatty acid propionate, 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 were at much higher abundance after exercise. Then the question was maybe it's not the removal of lactic acid but the generation of the short chain fatty acid propionate. Quote, we did some experiments, introduced propionate into mice via enema and test whether that was sufficient for this increased running ability phenotype. And to quote, it was. So bingo, 
That was the answer. The Valinella atypica was resulting in increased levels of the short chain fatty acid, propionate, and therefore, boom, exercise resilience. Now to conclude with what the researchers hope to get by basically introducing Valinella atypica for individuals, to proceed as follows. Quote, having increased exercise capacity is a stronger predictor of overall health and protection against cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and overall longevity. Quote in the researchers, what we envision is a probiotic supplement that people can take that will increase their ability to do meaningful exercise and therefore protect them against chronic diseases, including diabetes. Never mind just for the regular athlete itself. Now, really be interesting to see over time is what happens when Valinella is atypica is introduced into the microbiome of individuals who are unfortunate enough not to have Valinella atypica in their gut. Do they feel better? Do they feel motivated to exercise afterwards? Increase their energy, mood? Who knows? That's for the future to see. But for now, they know, at least in this animal model, the simple inoculation of Valinella atypica into animals results in a 13% increase in performance. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off. DOI citation will be linked. Also as well, the two articles to the AAS and Science Daily as well. Again, two of my favorite publications or news outlets uh, for you to follow and read up on your own. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off. Thank you very much for listening and look forward to see you all once again in seven days. Catch you then. Bye.